All right, guys, so I already did a Fring test, but right now I'm going to do a test with Quick, which is finally up on the, uh, the market for the Android, for the Evo 4G, actually, right here. So, as you saw, I just went to the Quick application icon. Now I'm going to go to video chat. I'm actually going to hide these numbers very briefly. I'm going to call Brandon Miniman of Pocket now. We actually just did a test with him, with him as well. So right now it's calling him. As you can see here, it's showing myself with the camera. And there's Brandon right there. And what, the way this actually works is he's actually going to have a little audio or a mic button right here that would allow him to talk. Basically, I'm going to kind of talk over him until he, he does so. So Brandon, feel free to say something. Yeah, hey, I'm here. So I'm pressing down the, uh, the talk button and that's the only way I can, uh, I can say something. And I can't hear you right now until I release the talk button. Yeah, so like he just said, it will actually mute me on his feed, and you know this is actually pretty nice. It's it's just simultaneous video chat going back and forth, and you know the quality is is pretty good. It's not it's not fantastic. It's not HD by any means, um, but right now it's a step in the right direction, I'd say. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool to see uh, real time video chat. I mean, they've had it a long for a long time in Europe, but finally we get something sort of like it, but it's not really. I mean, over the network, it's just over the internet. In time, once we have 4G everywhere, I think it it'll, it won't be as bad. But as you can see right now, Brandon's walking around his house, and the frame rate stays pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not it's not too shabby. So I'm just moving around here. <laughs> and one of the other things you can do, Brandon, actually, if you don't mind uh, switching your camera to your front view, because if I do it on mine, you're just going to see the floor. So um, you can actually change your camera to the front view with this little button you can see up on my screen right here. But Brandon can do it as well. And there it is right there. Looks like a parking violation that he got. Um, but yeah, you can actually change the camera. And I can do it on mine. Whoop, sorry, keep going, Brandon. Yeah, oh, I was just, uh, I pressed the button. I, I think if you press the button um, before the other person is done speaking, you get an echo. Oh, okay. And that's actually a good point that you just bring up, is we had a lot of echo with the Fring, but there's no echo at all, at least on my end, with the Quick. Talking, there's definitely no echo, but you know, I thought that you wouldn't have to take turns talking, but it's not so bad. It's just not ideal, I guess. I think, um, I think if you, so right now I'm talking, Brandon. I think if you press the mic button, it will actually start to talk over me, though. So I'm going to keep talking. Press that mic button and try and talk over me, and I'm just going to kind of rabble, 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 rabble. No, Sorry, it, I'm over you right now. yeah, it actually, I can't hear you. You are completely muted. yep, Don't yep. You, you do fully overwrite me when you press that mic button, so you do have the ability to overwrite the host. Got it, got it. Very cool. All right, well, I think that's going to wrap it up. Just a quick overview of how this works. So, uh, Brandon, thank you very much. I appreciate it. It was fun. Thank you. Definitely. We'll talk to you later.